morning everybody it's PJ here just playing around uh, on the uh, Facebook page there uh, somebody was asking about what you set the uh, the level on if you go in here you'll see you know you got level up here uh, and what that does is that actually increases the noise or decreases the noise on the scope so like if you got a real noisy band uh, and actually 80 looked a lot worse till I took the IPO off so I'm gonna put the, the IPO on just to signify cuz I, I got amp one on now look at that see that I mean, it makes a pretty waterfall but I want to see if we can clear that up and it's mainly just for visual it's not for <laughs> you know it doesn't change the sound or anything like that but see like I got this little bitty can you see my mouse cursor right here see how these signals right here are just falling kind of right in it every once in a while they'll peek up above it so I'm going to show you how I adjust that and uh it's one thing about this yay suit it's uh that's even I don't know how to say it. I ain't even gonna say it because uh, it just makes it really good. You can take that noise out of it or that look really good. Anyway, I'm mumbling. I ain't have my coffee. But I'm gonna show you how you set it. This is what I I run here. Now you've got this CS button, and you can make that for anything. If you push and hold it, see it gives you choices. You can make it any one of these. So that when you've got that CS button pushed, well here I'm just going to go ahead and click on level, which is what I keep it. You can make it peak, uh, which is a color contrast type thing, and then contrast, dimmer, uh, mic gain, you know, a bunch of different stuff. Level, because I use it so much, because they were like, what do you set it on? And it's like, well, it changes, you know, from band to band, conditions to conditions. And uh, so the way you set that again, you just push and hold that. That means it's going to come up. And you select level. Okay, you can do it with your finger too. Uh, so now when I just push it, it lights up. And what that does is that makes this back multi-function knob run just the level. See that? So now when I take it off, this now is going to be my fast VFO again to where this is my slow or fine ish so uh, okay and I can make that now that's what I'm going to do right here I'm going to turn this down and up so I'm going to adjust that see now this is what it was like on zero with the amp preamp one on so we're gonna clear that up and see like this low signals down here there's one right here you can barely see it starting to paint see that I'm gonna stop about right there and it's still noisy it can be higher up in the band but on down I probably wouldn't worry about it anyway because this is a section I can work anyway so that's really what I'm looking at. Go down just a little bit more. And to me, that's pretty. <laughs> so you've got these little signals right here that stand out within the uh, the noise. They're not hidden in all that hash. <clears throat> all right. Anyway, well, that shows you how to clear it up. And, I mean, you can go on down, but you're going to lose. If you go too far to get it, like, black some of them little small signals are just gonna kind of they'll disappear so you don't want it that you want it right where you can still see them and they're kind of starting to paint the, that's too much now all these spurs that you see that's my garage door over if i was to go and plug my garage door see how it's like this right here if i go and plug my garage door opener that, that would go away all right so we're going to set that back to zero now another way you can get that out is if you 
you seen earlier when I first got on here is turn the uh, preamp off. I get rid of some of it already and just get into the signals that uh, you're just regularly getting. But anyway, all right, I'm rambling. I'm going to go to, and one thing I found out about this thing too is if you push, CS will run this back collar, the step, uh, push and hold it. If you do it now, now it turns that into the channels the if I'm in memory mode uh, if you hit band you can scroll through your bands with that little collar the, and the I have to look it up I should have looked it up for it's just a multi knob but anyway that's 20 but you can do the same with your clarifier if you're on clarifier X or TX then now this back knob is now your clarifier. See that? So we turn that off. And mode. So now that switch does all of that just by pushing one of the buttons. <coughs> all right. One of those buttons, like I say, mode, clear, TX, RX, the uh, band button, the step and channel button, or memory channel button and the CS button. Those will work that. If you don't push any of those, it's just a quick VFO. It goes, see how it's changing in hundreds. Down here it'll be tenths, see? All right, but anyway, we're going to go to 17. <coughs> and I'm gonna turn on my level by using that multi function. Man looks dead, don't it? There's nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this up just a little. See, look, watch these signals start coming because 17's wide open today. There's a bunch of people. Watch this. I mean, I can keep on, you know, I'm bringing on up. It's not doing anything to sound. Look at these signals. They wasn't there on the one, and just to show you that they're not just a noise. These are actual. Now I can scroll through that darkness and find all these just by listening. But these help you because now I can actually find them. See, there's like that looks like data of some sort or something. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Here's a signal. It's going to be one of those where I got one side of conversation. But anyway, you get the picture. Uh, and tell me there's another one. Like I say, you can listen for these and go through here. But you got the scope, so that's what level does. It just makes it work. See, because if that was back on zero... Don't look like nothing's there. But he's there. If they wait till he comes back and starts talking, you'll know he's there. You'll be able to hear him. Yeah, I see. But I can scroll through there in the dark. You know, it's kind of like walking around with your hands over your face. But I mean, that's why you got this pretty scope. I don't want to go that high. Okay. Right there. See, now he's got good signal showing up on the thing. But that's it. That's just how I use the, the level. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's what the book, when you read the manual, that's what it says it's for. So, so don't just sit it on zero and leave it because it, it definitely has a function uh, in its use. And it makes it a little prettier on your scope. Somebody, somebody frequency. The station called it off frequency. That's it. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Just a little short video while I was sitting out here messing around. And a uh, good day for it because 17 looked like right. it was dead. And so I was like, well, uh, he asked that question the other day. And uh, I let him see what it looks like or how to use it or, you know, whatever. I'm rambling. 
Y'all have a good one. I'm going to go get me some more coffee. KO4JJP.